Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we have two Italian bottles of water. These were both purchased at Donatelli's Italian Food Center. And these are both waters from Italy. And they both kind of match. They're both pretty tall bottles. And they both have a dark color to the bottle. But this one is a still water. This one is a sparkling water. So anyway, this one is Gaudianello Sparkling natural mineral water and it's in a plastic bottle and so the last time I did a sparkling water the water just exploded all over the place when I opened the bottle and so I'm hoping that does not happen again because this one has a big air gap at the top I'm hoping that will prevent the water from exploding outside of the bottle when I open it so here's hoping for that next up is I think it's called Fiji or Fuji uh, this is a still water, and so the interesting thing about this is, on this side of the bottle, it says sodium-free. It's the exact words. It says sodium-free, and if you turn it over to this side, you look at the nutritional info, it says it has uh, one and a half milligrams of sodium. <laughs> so it kind of flip-flops, like, what, which is it? Is it sodium-free? Or Maybe it should say low sodium instead of sodium-free. So this water is the more expensive of the two. This one is two dollars and 69 cents this one is a dollar 49 and so this more expensive one is known for helping people with kidney stones uh, there's a lot of really good reviews on amazon for this water people are like oh my god it helped me you know instantly cured my kidney stones and like lots of really good reviews for this on, on amazon um, like i said i bought this for two dollars and 69 cents at a store but if you buy this on Amazon, it's $45 for six of these. I think that's pretty crazy. That's really expensive. BuzzFeed did a review of this water, and they said it costs $9.50 for a single bottle. BuzzFeed, their reviewers said this water was chalky, and it tasted old. This is this is a really old water, though. It's from a um, naturally occurring source of water, and it's one of those waters that's filtered through a volcanic deposit. Um, the Gaudianello, I believe that's how it's pronounced, it says it has some calcium and magnesium in it, in it, it also has sodium. I was just telling you how this one has sodium, this one says it has about 30 times as much, so that's not really good, um, water shouldn't have a lot of sodium in it. So anyway, let's open these up and do a comparison, see which one tastes better. Okay, please do not explode water all over the place when I open this. Oh, good, good, awesome. Yeah, in the last review, it spilled water all over the carpet, and it had, like, some kind of sugar in it, so it made the carpet all sticky and the table all sticky. I'm very glad this one did not explode all over the place. So, let's try this. Gaudianello. see it bubbling a little bit um it's pretty much it's average for a sparkling water you know i've had some that burn your throat and i've had some that have a good taste to them this is kind of like right in the middle the fuji has a another like metallic metal lid it's a nice touch kind of like a wine bottle sort of Mm, it's pretty good. So far, I'm, I'm disagreeing with BuzzFeed. I don't, I don't have a chalky taste in the back of my throat, like they said. That's a good one. I don't have any, um, any kidney stones either, so I can't test to see if it uh if it cures kidney stones or not so and if you're new to my channel i have to say this every time but i don't like sparkling waters so this is a biased review i have to admit um i'm very biased i prefer 
still still waters. So I'm not picking up any chalky taste. But it does taste kind of old. Like I don't know. The the type of bottle like definitely gives it a unique taste because of its being from uh, glass. But there's something else to it. Makes it taste kind of older. Another, another interesting thing is they put a website address. And the website was down. I checked it yesterday and today. Their website was just down. It gave some error message. As far as Gaudi Nello goes, I couldn't really find anything about them on the internet. Like, I couldn't find any reviews, any, like, websites for them. I don't know. I'm not even sure if that's the correct pronunciation. I, just, I used some website to figure out how to pronounce it. Gaudianello. Gaudianello. Let's do one last taste. This is not a terrible price. This is a dollar and forty nine cents, considering it's shipped from the other side of the the world. Um, it's not a terrible price, and it's it's a pretty big bottle actually. Um, this is also considering it's in glass. This is two dollars and sixty nine cents. It's a little bit overpriced, I gotta admit, but all things considered, considered it's shipped from Italy and. Let's put the glass bottle. It's, it's kind of a fair price. So, the winner is the Stillwater. You might have guessed that already, just because I prefer Stillwaters. And it also tastes pretty good. So, Fuji, or Fiji, is moving on to the next round. Congratulations. Thanks for watching.